Hello and welcome back to the 119th episode of this GTA 3, the definitive edition video game series. No different as yesterday, today we're searching for our next vehicle for our import, export, exchange garage at Portland Harbour, right where the docks are. So let's stick to the outskirts of the hostel areas and hopefully we can discover a vehicle along the way. Oh, there's something. How convenient. The lawn runner. Buying more exercise equipment off the TV. It's so what if it gets three miles to the gallon? I'm a mom, not a conservationist. The new my Batsu monstrosity. Mine is bigger. Would you like a giraffe? I'll have one delivered. Just log on to petsovernight.com and we'll send you a giraffe overnight. Petsovernight.com, delivering little bundles of love in a box directly to your door. You are listening to Chatterbox, hosted by me, Laszlo, because I got kicked off the rock station. Let's go over here and talk to somebody about their life. Hello, caller. You're on the air. Hi, Leslie. My name's Martha. I just love your show. I always listen to you when I'm getting my call irrigated. I just wanted to say something for them. And, you know, information for highway and the world. So here we are. Yeah, I know all about it. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? I mean, it's incredible. I know a lot of people say it's absolutely a load of crap. It's remarkable, I think. Think of all the things you can do. I mean, the tools that you want to buy in each day. What do you do, Leslie? Is the like one runner on the list? I know, Leslie. I'm a regular listener. Well, I don't. I buy it online, and then I rip the music in a different format so I can listen to it while I'm jogging. It's incredible. The piece, sir. I also like cab and cooking and reality, so the internet is really good for my hobby. I think it's amazing. I use the battle lap. I don't have to go out ever again. There's the line runner crossed off the list and our ninth vehicle delivered. I don't know if you've noticed, but for all these vehicles that are delivered within that specific garage, you get a thousand GTA dollars added to your account. It's not much, but by the time we complete that list, we'll be able to use any of them vehicles that we store within there. So it's a small reward. But then you got access to any vehicle. Let's try not to alert the authorities. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you on the next.